Alright, welcome. <clears throat> Alright, welcome to another episode of my single player series. And I've been working a lot. And there's a pigman here. And my blaze farm is, well, the, the blaze farm is complete. It is Ethos Design, like nearly every blaze farm there is, I believe. But, so I didn't show myself building it because it was Ethos Design. And because there's already Ethos Tutorial out there. Okay, the lava just went out. It's why the lightness light changed. But, eth yeah, Ethos Design came out and... We don't need to all see it again. If you haven't seen it yet, the link will be in the description. And there will also be a link to a post on Reddit. Someone posted a layer by la layer schematic type thing of this, which is what I used to actually build it. I don't know, I, found, I find it easier using the image that will be in the description than the video. But. All credit goes to Etho, of course. Hello, Blaze. Particles are off because of the lag. Not that I got laggy, but what uh, I believe that in 1.0, when I had single-player commands still, uh, the redstone became bugged, and the crusher system, this button, when it crushed them, the uh, timing was off, and it only crushed them for like about half the, no the time it should. And it was really, really annoying. But with 1.0 and more but likely just a clean jar, a minecraft.jar file, the timing became normal, so they're all one punch again. Like that. And you reset it with that, and go again and again. So I'm level 38 and 1.0, uh, 1.1 bow enchantments came out. Aw oh, yeah. Can never ever go wrong with bow enchantments. So let's get, test out these enchantments. I have no clue what any of them really do. 37 is good. Power 4. Drive arrows, yes. Pigman, you are our test for what Power 4 does. Two shot kill. Yeah. Power 4. I'll have to play around with that. We could try level 1 on this. No, we can't because there's too many bookshelves, so I can't get level 1. It's like as rare as level 50. They also changed enchanting probabilities. I think that means it's not what level you get, but I got a 47. But more like if you get a super high level, you can't get efficiency 1 or something like that. Something weak for high level. Did I crush them yet? Yeah. It's closed, so that means I crushed them. Open that means I haven't crushed them like this one, and that's a lava light switch that turns them off. Netherrack chest. So the next enchantment will be a diamond pick. Power four. And where are we? I did a bit of exploring in the Nether. Found this huge fortress, but it's very far away. Discovered that there was a smaller fortress closer, and found that there was the, uh, the, uh, spawner right there. And if you come all the way through this thing, let's get the powerboat out with this ghast. Right there. Bam. Perfect. <laughs> That's awesome. The spawner is actually higher up. But since the blaze farm goes pretty low compared to the spawner, we we will be able to make a quite an easy pathway over. Actually, if you don't recognize that, that is my sign fields portal. 
I was kind of sort of hoping for to find a couple of like a double spawner kind of far away so that way we could uh make a portal here at this place and portal to 1.1 generated terrain generation which means that this world now has probably three different types of generation in the world possibly four if 1.8 and 1.1 doesn't have any changes Here's my portal, uh, netherrack, forever, so much netherrack, and what has me most upset is the nether is pre-generated as well in 1.7, and where is it? I need to eat again, aha! Oh well. But this would have been another spawner right here. What's up? Come on. Quit. Yes, you could one shoot gas with the power of four. I think it just means it does more damage with the arrows. Ha. But, this is a staircase, it would obviously have led to a, a spawner, a blaze spawner. Hello Mamma Cubes, you dropped, ma you dropped magma cream now, it's really cool. But this would have led to a blaze spawner, but not anymore because this is a chunk boundary and this land right here was generated in 1.7 nether and this is 1.0 nether. So, we have a failure finding another portal, uh, another spawner. The other one is down there. So, that was a fail. Not really a fail, but a disappointment. I could have had two reasonably close together, even if they were on the wrong level. And I want magma cream. Come on, bridge faster. That lava fall is pretty epic though. Which it does. Oh no. Oh no. Duh. But you can see, even like that staircase with the nether wart just cut off. See, I kind of poked my head out to see what's going on, but cut itself off. Super annoying. I debated about regenerating it and like using MCA to regenerate the chunks so I could get the full fortress. Like, if, uh, after asking all of you, of course. But I thought about it, and I'll just go with how it is at the moment. Stop! Keep it how it is, I mean, and this is my world, and all the mixed up train generation is what makes it mine. No world could ever be like it, even if because they can never generate it the same with how I generated generated it through all the updates, which makes it uh, pretty hard to spoil it, even though the seed is public as my username, my YouTube username, so I can't get spoilers on where the strongholds are and stuff like that, and. It makes it mine, so I'll keep it uh, mixed up how it all is. And next up, I'll continue working on this entranceway. And I'll see you uh, soon, uh, after a fade to black. <laughs> well, 
Alright, so this is my first diamond enchanted pickaxe. I won't do this for every pickaxe, of course, but for the first one in my world, I'll uh, show you every single enchantment for the first tools in this world. Just capture it on film. So I'm hoping for Silk Touch. Ah. Well, that's still good. Still useful. And. Well, I need Silk Touch still. Um. Yeah, I want, I want to, uh. Redo something over at my 1.7. My 1.7 mob trap. But, uh, and the first thing to go is all the glass, and I want to use Silk Touch for that to not waste it. Even though I do have a ton, uh, I still don't want to waste glass. Silk Touch at all is better. So, hopefully you get Silk Touch sometime soon. If not... If not, I'm going to be crushing a lot of blazes. I already have so many blaze rods. I'll never need to use coal in a furnace again. Yep. Wait, what? There's already one zombie pigman in here. Hmm. Looks kind of cool, actually. But yeah, so... Hopefully I get Silk Touch soon, and I'll see you in a bit. Alright guys, I made something I've been wanting to make for a very, 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 very long time. Legitimately, that is. But, if you can see my volcano, you should know where we are. We're on top of my mob trap. And it tops the keyword. This trap is very productive due to all the caves I lit up, especially during the day. And normally, I have all the mobs falling down, straight down, into a lava blade trap, where I pick up the loot in the little huge chest area. But I made pistons that divert water flow up through the here which we're going to close now no wait come on creeper you're special that zombie is not you're gonna drown and if you can't see oh no I should not let this let the skellies in but, you have a skeleton, a place full of creepers if it was daytime, and I can't do anything about it, but, it's a record factory, Oh yeah, it's time to get all the records, except the broken one of course, um, but, what's going on is I have this to close it off so I get no more mobs feeding into my system which I guess I could still do because it's night time which is not a good time for this thing to be going but there's a second thing of pistons right here uh, actually let's close that off so I can show you what it does without mobs interfering again Hello? <laughs> okay, is this sandstone needed? Nope. But, basically, when a skelly comes along, I can flick this lever, the water goes this way to get one skelly in here. I did that first. And then, I flip it again to get the water going that way to uh, have every other mob come over here. Why is that creeper drowning? I don't know, never had, had that happen before. 
So, this is a simple uh, redstone circuitry thing going on. Uh, no! Dang it! Uh, I'll be right back. Alright, time to uh, ex try to explain this again. Um, so, this is a uh, more better looking uh, record farm. It's not complete, so I have a couple blocks to fill. Bam, 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 bam. And gaps to fill in. But, this is what's going on. I s creepers were collecting here. First, I, uh, no. So, first I captured skeleton through, uh, switches. I'll explain in a bit. The skeleton will never die during the day because there's a block above him that pr protects him from the sun. Over here, all the mobs will collect after I capture the skeleton. The creepers, skeletons, and zombies will collect in here. Uh, the skeletons and the zombies will burn away during daytime. Which is it not? Which is what it's not doing now. But they're ca uh, all collecting here, and and when it's ready, I'll take this switch, which will stop more mobs from going into the system. Uh, right now, mobs will go into the system because the lever is on. So the mobs come up this elevator, feed into the system, and get uh, get into the record factory. When this lever is on, the elevator is closed. When the piston extends, the elevator is closed. Mobs are actually drown themselves in this uh, setup, but. They're closed, and no more mobs get into the system, and no more skeletons get into the creeper area in particular. So that is quite devastating, as you saw. Um, weird ice biome stuff going on there. Um, so yeah. How I captured that skeleton in the first place is you see that nether brick block right there? If I see a skeleton coming up the elevator through that, I could flick this, and it it will switch the pistons, and that will force the water to go a different way, and that water leads directly over the skeleton pod. So I'll capture the skeleton, and I'll flick it back real fast, and all the mobs will continue along to this pod, the first one. And then, this is actually covered in glass, but right as as of now... <coughs> Excuse me. All the mobs are contained safely within their pods, so they can't start shooting, they can't see me, they can't do anything. And when I flick this, three pistons retract. The uh, first one is between. The first one's right here. I guess I only need two, but I have three. The first one's right there, the second one is right behind this torch, and the door is behind this. Two of them are between the skeletons and the, the skeleton and the creepers. So that the skeleton can shoot to the creepers. And then the uh, third one is right here. So the uh, skeleton actually can see me through the uh, whole thing and start shooting. And this is so... I don't have any of those major accidents where the skellies actually see me and start shooting when I don't want them to and blow up everything. It's quite disastrous. So all the records are collected in this little area. Which is why I left that open. So they're all collected in that little area. And when I want to collect, I go like this. A piston pushes out and the the blocks go on the press. The records go on the pressure plate, which is why I have pressure plates here. This is one for symmetry, and this one's for uh, functionality, so I can actually collect the blocks, uh, the records, and then I retract it so I could collect more creepers if I want more records. So we got that all situated. Redstone simple. 
basically all of these switches are inverted so I could get the uh, pistons extended when I want want them around and stuff so the first one the slower one comes around and d controls the elevator repeaters I use so the wires don't cross and could get get the wires actually reach the pistons and stuff so there's no timing needed on any of these the uh, second one is right here and this controls the uh, switchback pistons so I could capture the skeleton when it's on the uh, this wire will actually power the block and this piston will uh, extract because of it because it's powered and then when it's unpowered the torch turns back on the block is unpowered so this one retracts and this torch comes around and powers this piston of the uh, other side's piston so I can extend and force the water to go this way so that's a switchback method that I used I came up with it probably somebody else came up with it too but yeah, that, there we go. That's how I do the con water controls to get the scully. The uh, third one's fairly simple. The lever is right behind this torch. And here are all the pistons connected with straight from the uh, lever itself. And here's the fourth one I just uh, kind of haphazardly added in. It comes all the way down into the push of piston which gives me rec my records when I'm done when all the creepers are dead so I'll enter a non-peaceful difficulty hard again it's thundering again I like it I have plans for that so I'll fix uh, I'll clean up this area while I collect more mobs and then you'll see it in action and we'll finally collect some more records finally collect a record I should say noise fest oh yeah they're all burning zombies like to jump skeletons by their bows do not like to jump apparently it might be random but who knows Soon we'll have only creepers in there. There's an enemy warping around, around. They like to do that around this base because they actually spawn in the trap because it's three high. But I did disable spiders again. I took out all the half slabs for them. Okay, zombie just caught fire. But we also have a skeleton who's safe. And this base area is also safe. Nice view of the volcano. Nice view of what's going to happen in the future. And nice view of the whole overall lake with my little safe fall I made while building that I could take down now. Okay, there we go. Uh, you cannot have a scully in there. It's very, very bad. Oh, we should uh stop production. That might help with the random mobs. Not. <laughs> yep, die skellies, die. I think that that's the last one. Is that the last mob? I wish I could see what's going on in there. Why not? Yep, there we go. Mobs are stopped. You and I could collect a bunch more. This is a good sample. We have. They are loud. I'll have to admit that much, they're loud. But, they're also necessary. So, creepers, you ready? Let's hope this is far enough. Yep, the creepers can't. The creepers can't see me or can't get close enough to me to blow up. 
The Skelly seems to have bad aim. But I can't add more Skellies in there or else they'll start shooting each other. Which is not good. But you saw a creeper die already? We means means we have our first record. So I'll speed this up in the video. Alright. Last creeper's dead, and I've already seen a problem with this thing. Stop that skelly. But let's collect the loot. Yeah. We have cats, two cats, two wards, a style, a strad, a far, another ward, and a 13, and blocks. But the problem I saw was that the skelly is jumping. Stop jumping, you stupid skelly! And that's why he's missing a lot. But look at that! Yeah, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven types already. How can we get that skelly to stop jumping? A piston. Right behind, right on this block right here. So let's kill the skeleton. One shot him with my bow. And you can see I have efficiency three and baking three, my first one. But fortune three right here, which is really, really sweet, but I have yet to get uh soak touch, which is what I've been really wanting. Because and I, I went through all all my diamonds. <laughs> no luck with the silk touch. Very, very frustrating. Um, I have a couple of... I have two of these with the same enchantments. A couple of... Two efficiency fours. And that's it. Yeah, I spent a lot of time on that blaze farm. There we go. Perfect. So let's the production go again. There should be a lot of mobs exploding out of there. So I won't capture Skelly yet. I get to see this in action. Yes, I got a Skelly. No, he's burning. Did I capture him? Yes, I got him. And you will stop jumping now. Stop. He's still trying to jump. Stop jumping, you idiots. Yeah, look at them all burn. I want more records. I have mall. Didn't even notice that. So, I need... I'll put duplicates up here. I believe I could get 10 now. I'm missing Mellow High. And... I don't know what else I'm missing. We have these two, we have the mixed one, the two default ones. Chirp. Chirp and Mellow High. That's what we're missing. And we want Mellow High. Give me Mellow High. Also, while we're waiting for a... While we're waiting for the mobs to burn, I've been taking a part in... a map collaboration group called Iridium 5. It's myself, someone named Torn Ares, 
Myro, Gamma Ray, Gamma Ray, and Bachich or Nico Bachicha, and we're creating as a group in general, not like not all five of us at the same time, but like mixed up around collabing with to destroy the uh, core maps DTC genre, and if you're familiar with Do and her airship battles. It's basically a huge 16 by 16 match or bigger where you have in Dew's airship map, the first DTC there was, there's two airships pretty close together, maybe 20 blocks apart. And the goal is to cross, the enemy, cross over to the enemy ship, destroy obsidian and make lava fall out of, the, out of their obsidian core. And we're creating maps of that same genre where you have to destroy the obsidian core or something similar to uh, defeat the other team and the uh, sink in quotation marks their airship and so I'll have a link to that uh, thread where I'm taking a part of it in uh, to the minecraft forms link and you can check out the maps yourselves and get probably get a better description than what I just described and ready to go and that will always be in my descriptions of every video now and I also wanted to add at this point that that reasons like the Iridium 5 collab group I'm in the Race Fool 4 which is completed well the uh, version 1 point or pre-release 1 is completed still need testing and stuff like that but map making is taking up my time away from videos and working on the this tour and making like the blaze farm and the skelly thing takes a lot longer than what you see on camera it's anyone walking around <laughs> but that's why I don't admit as many videos as other channels it's been five days as of this part of the recording in this uh, world I've been recording bits and pieces throughout between all the cuts has been more than one day and that's why there's no videos I'm not gonna say I'm sorry just because that's how it is and I'm a map, make, map maker first video maker second videos will not be forgotten at all but yeah I enjoy map making a lot it's, what I, it's my favorite part of Minecraft Minecraft's a versatile game enjoy it any way you want and that's how I enjoy it so that's why videos come second to map making my series comes my hidden redemption series comes first uh, Uridium 5 comes to close second and Ultimate Maze Collection and uh, CTM Maps, which is still going. Still been working on those, just less frequently. But they're still in the process. They're probably about to tied with videos, to be honest. But yeah, that's, that's, that's me. That's, that's, yeah. I don't, I think it's a good enough explanation. And if you're really into videos, I have... Great suggestions, Good, B00, Etho, DocM. They watching those those videos take up. <laughs> I, I fall behind a lot actually. Um, oh yeah, Avidia, Vidya Zen. He's one of my favorites actually. Um, you'll find links to other stuff below too. Just for just in this video though. But come on, Skellies can can kill these creepers faster. But yeah, so you can watch them if you like watching videos only. If that's your favorite part of Minecraft. And yeah, so hopefully we could get Mellow High and Chirp. I was shooting them with a the bow just to help speed it along, but sometimes it does kill them. I'm not too worried though, I could always do this again and again. 
Yeah, so, uh, that, I don't think. That might have been chirp, actually. It looked brighter red than blocks. Come on, Milhai. Yes, come on, come on, Scully, shoot the last two. That was blocks. You're one more away, Scully. Look at that aim, that's awful. Your aim is horrid. You're not on my race fool team at all. You're fired. <laughs> But yeah, Ross, I'm also in the midst of forming a race for wool team. Oh, did I get Mellow High? Yes, I did. Yes, I did. Okay, this sort has to go. I don't like it. Um, blocks put away for chirp right there. And Mellow High. Yes, I got them all. I got all 10 you could get in version 1.1 of Minecraft. So, okay, we got the experience. Attack their knees, attack their knees. And go down my very temporary ladder. Very temporary. You could see where they come out at. This uh, tubing was actually already there. The only tubing I had to do was elevator up, which is actually halfway complete since it's right next to the uh, the glass tubing going down right there that was originally for the passive mob farm. So it's halfway complete and it goes up when all the tubing was new. I would have had to do it anyways. Which this is why I wanted silk touch is to clear out all the glass I don't need anymore. And, awesome, that Enderman is going to, where is this Enderman? There's a dirt block right here, there's a ladder on this side and a ladder on this side to help me f safe fall. But apparently the Endermans like to grab the one ladder that's very crucial to the whole system. Oh man, oh man, that's, fr that's annoying. But, I don't have many diamonds over here. Nope. Store the redstone away. Give me one diamond. It's worth it. And... Jukebox. Oh. I also wanted to mention... If I want normal mobs to go the right way, pull that lever. It does drip water down for a bit, but it fixes itself. And I could get mobs in my normal collection point. And so yeah. One last skelly going up. But I get mobs the normal way still. I didn't that was the first thing I added actually. I started with Holy cow! What was that? I got shot with a flaming arrow! What was that? You all saw I caught fire, right? How in the world did I catch fire? Did he sh shoot me while he was in the lava pit? The arrow caught fire and then it hit me? I thought arrows couldn't do that. I tested it out in when I was making my first race for wool split decisions. Near the uh, spawn when you fall down the tube, the, there was going to be a lava fall in the middle. In the middle of the lane. So you could possibly catch people on fire, but it didn't work. But apparently it does now.
So that, that was annoying. And then I took all that fall damage, which is why I died so quick. And had no water to douse me. That was annoying death. Not gonna lie. But yeah, there were half slabs around the lava place so they could shoot me through that. It's always been a problem. And part of why that ladder is temporary as well. Okay, now is the five minutes that matter, but it's not been close to that. My elevator's over there, of course. And you could sprint in water still, of course. That looks interesting from down below. But yeah, all this tubing is gonna go. It's gonna make it I'm gonna make it look much better. I'm not nostalgic and even though this is from season one, I'm not crazy about updating it or building new stuff around it because it's still my world and I can still do updates anything I want. I kept it through the weird terrain generation changes between one point seven three and one point eight one. And then from 1.1 to 1.0. And then from 1.0 to 1.1. Which all had uh, generation changes. And I'm actually going to do this. I kept it through all that, so... I still have it. Time to end this episode. Running around. Dying by the random arrows. Frustrating. And... Mellow High.